Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Look at me, all comfortable. <laughs> when you like somebody or when you meet somebody or you're in a place in your life where you feel like, you know, you want to be with someone, like like I've said before, I'm a relationship kind of girl. Um, I've never really been good at dating multiple people. But with that being said, that does not mean the first person that you meet you need to settle down with. So, we're, I'm assuming that you already know what you want like I know what I want I want a family someday I like to do cute shit I like traveling and um, you know I want to go see the world and then eventually come or go settle somewhere and like have a family and do corny stuff like so that's I know that's what I want so like I was saying before I was rudely interrupted <clears throat> I'm not finding guys i won't call them men yet because we all know men take a little while to mature guys in my age group meaning like 22 to 26 i'll say um with that same mindset <clears throat> with that being said um i have been through a couple of situations where i push what i want to the side just to fill that space of having someone and I'm telling you that that is not the right thing to do. And if you really are going to get what you deserve, you have to be honest. Because no one's just going to read your mind. You got to communicate. And that's another thing. I deserve someone that can communicate, for Christ's sake. What is it with you guys that you are not in touch with your emotions? Like, showing, to motion to, showing emotion to you is like foreign or, you know, it's like having the plague or I don't know what it does for y'all, but... Y'all can't communicate for shit. And I know girls are bad communicators too because we play games and we want you to figure it out. I get it. Been there in situations where I'm just like, well, he just needs to know. Ladies, we gotta stop acting like that. Just say what you mean. Don't, they're not gonna figure it out. They're never gonna figure it out. You gotta say it. But um, yeah, I need somebody that can communicate their emotions. Like, don't be emotionally distant to me. Be who you are. Tell me how you feel when you feel it. Just be upfront, because I can't, I don't have time to figure stuff out. I have anxiety, so me figuring it out is going to the worst case scenario and, you know, losing my mind. That's what's going to happen. So by the time you tell me, I've already had all these things in my head. I've already had seven panic attacks. Thing. Like, I'm not sure of anything. I, I, oh my God, that's another video for another day. But I'm so unsure, so I need somebody else to check me. Like, listen, you're tripping. So when you're done tripping, let me know. So yeah, those are just some of the things that I feel like I deserve and I'm going to get them. Um, I can tell you briefly how I plan on getting them. Number one, I plan on not revealing all of my cards at once as far as my generosity and how much I care. And I know that's like a rookie thing to do is to suppress how much you care, or how much you like a person. But it kind of makes me feel like I can protect myself better if I'm not so clear with my emotions. Like if I just remain a little neutral and let them kind of pull it out of me. Let them try. Because I'm always the one that, you know, um, I'm always the one that initiates things. So this year I'm trying to just fall back a little bit and let things happen to me S or go out and get them myself like for example um, when you like somebody maybe you make the first move and maybe you make things on your term I don't need people around me that are going to suck the life out of me um, everybody is going through something and people venting to you about their problems and what's going on it's for me i'm an empath so i am super close to feeling exactly how you felt when something's happening to you i'm pretty close not exactly in your shoes but like right there so i feel how you feel and that is exhausting when people are constantly venting to you and complaining to you and you know what's even more exhausting to take it a step further is when they are not doing anything about it you've given your advice you've given your time and energy 
five minutes. <clears throat> You're giving your time and energy and resources to them and they just won't pick themselves up. I cannot tolerate any more people that aren't being accountable and are not taking control of their own lives. Um, we can blame a whole bunch of people. I can blame Trump. I can blame Kanye. I can blame my, my parents. I can blame all types of people for what they, their, their parts in my life. But at the end of the day, they're still me and I'm still a living, breathing person and I'm still able to um, stop and say, wait, no, I'm not letting that happen. That's not, I don't deserve that. You can't do that to me. And removing them or maybe giving for people that needed to learn a lesson, maybe, you know, giving them a sort of time out in your life. So, um, yeah, if you want to remove, um, if you feel like, because <clears throat> personally, I feel like the reason bad things happen to me or unfortunate things is a good portion of, of it is me and whatever I'm manifesting to myself or whatever I'm not. Because funny thing is, I always say this, the universe has a way of hitting you over the head with stuff. And it has done it to me. I've come across the same types of situations where I'm like, I wonder if this is a lesson. And then after the fourth time... When the blinkers are going off like hello you're going through this again and you're not doing anything different this time i'm like oh right i've been through this before okay what did i learn this this and this all right this is how we're going to move from now on those are the kind of life lessons you you learn from yourself mindfulness you got to be you got to be mindful about what's going on with you and that's why sometimes you need to take a step back from people and really like self-absorb and be aware of you and what your toxic flaws are and what what kind of things you need to break out of like generational curses maybe you grew up around certain behaviors and things and you might need to break out of them and they are some of the hardest things to break out of on top of other influences like being in love or you know um, lust and like greed those kind of things bring on other problems in you that you might need to be aware of but you have to be able to take a step back and and just reflect on what has happened and give yourself a break some people are exhausting like exhausting it's so rare that you have people in your life that are like a breath of fresh air and that you know bring peace to you and that it's just so natural to be around like just so just everything just goes so smoothly when you're around them it's very rare that you find those people and that's the kind of person that I need and those are the kind of people that I need in my life to keep me on a path going up not down so um yeah stand firm and what you deserve take time to really pick apart what it is that that those things are and how you're going to go about getting them and cutting off anything and everything that is stopping you from that and when you start doing that and you start purging at your life, you will be surprised at what surfaces as far as how you feel and what kind of people end up not being who you think they are. And when their veil is um, unveiled, when their veil is unveiled, when the veil is removed, like when their mask comes off, you'd be surprised who it is. It's the people that you don't expect. It's the people that you said yes to when you finally say no bruh I'm telling you start doing it but yeah i hope this video was helpful for you guys kind of was a little all over the place but you know how i am i rant and i talk and i go off subject so like comment subscribe um leave me some more topics to talk about and i will see you in the next one